Hey folks, in this month's Aqua Shopper, we have not only the My Aquarium box for February, but we have the results of a little bit of a shopping spree at the Big Fish deal. That's all coming up right after this. Hey YouTube, this is Pack Tech, and before we get too much into the month, I wanted to go ahead and do my Aqua Shopper video. Uh, I don't actually have a ton of stuff to show today. I've got the My Aquarium box, which is always fun. And uh, I've got some plants and another surprise from the Big Fish deal, which is totally not a surprise if uh, you watch my Instagram. <laughs> I decided to go ahead and do the Aqua Shopper a little bit earlier than I normally do in the month to give myself some extra time to do some, uh, some editing of the event last week. I really had a good time. I didn't shoot as much as I normally do, uh, mostly because I was having a, like a great time and just doing other stuff. <laughs> but something that I rarely have taken advantage of in other trips was the, the marketplace. So uh, on Sunday, you can go and just, they have a wide variety of, of all the club members and just other people selling stuff. So it's not just people that sell stuff all the time. These are people that grow plants and and fish and shrimp and snails and just about anything else you, you can imagine. They grow them up and then they sell them at that auction once a year. So it's a fantastic deal if you can get there and uh, and grab some stuff and that's what I did. So if you watched me set up this tank and if you haven't you should check it out. It's called Getting Dirty and it's been demonetized for months now because it, it has to get to a thousand views before they'll even evaluate it and I've, I've put on there that it's just about you know dirtying a tank they think it's something else so getting dirty I highly recommend you checking it out but the wood that I used the manzanita wood I got at the big fish deal years ago and at other times when I've gone to the aquatic experience and other stuff like that I've tried to find uh, the same you know just sandblasted manzanita wood like it's probably really common wherever you are but it's actually hard to find here uh, I've looked and looked and looked and I can never find it. So uh, this year I was sort of on a mission to just find more of it, like a whole lot more. I wanted it when I did the big tank, when I did the 210 downstairs, and I got some unsanded, like some spindly unsanded uh, driftwood that was okay, but it still wasn't exactly what I wanted, which is the same exact thing that's in here. But now I've got it. <laughs> I got it from like three different places, but I, I went around... Uh, that whole area and I finally found like a nice pile of driftwood that I've left in the floor in front of my aquarium where I'm absolutely certain my wife is content with this current location and won't be aggravated with me whatsoever. To tell you the truth, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it. I just wanted it really bad and I can't explain that. The next bigger tank uh, project that I do uh, more than likely will include this stuff. The other thing I got was plants. Now I looked at shrimp yeah, I even had someone offer to, to give me some shrimp, which was very nice. But um, it's a but it's a 10 hour drive back and I didn't really want to risk. Um, I brought a cooler with me and a, and a pump with an air stone and all this stuff. Like I was ready to get some fish or, or shrimp or something, but I decided to just get plants. Not only because of the long ride down there, but you'd have to deal with them just as soon as you got home. And I wasn't, I wasn't sure I was ready for that. But I got some really cool plants. This is one I've never seen before. Uh, Java Fern Mini Sa stays seven inches tall or less. He said that this one had kind of gotten, you know, pretty much to its maximum size because it was really bunched up and uh, in some CO2. And I've seen a lot of different kinds of Java Fern. The Java Fern in itself isn't new. Woo! This was $25, <clears throat> and as you can see, it's like, it's a perfect, perfect bunch. Wow, it's super thick. Everything's nice and alive. Uh, don't see any algae issues here. Wow, really, really nice bunch of mini java fern. Okay. Yeah, the other five bags... Of stuff that I got were all it looks like the same plant it says uh, abuse no ID number one MTS snail warning that's something really nice that you can do if you've got uh, uh, Malaysian trumpet snails could possibly have a Malaysian trumpet snail 
hijack in here. I'm not scared of those. That's fine. But uh, this one looks like a little deflated, so I'll open it. Buse is a really neat plant. I haven't had much luck with it. But I, I want to. <laughs> I would like to have some luck. And uh, I, so I'm going to do a tank that's just, that's just going to grow buse. Called my abuse tank. And um, I don't know. I may throw some of that stuff in too. Actually, the tank I have in mind is really small. So I don't know if it'll be able to take both of these uh, and do it justice anyway. But here's one, two, three, yeah, four little, four little twigs here. Almost five because that's got a lot of little baby growth on it. Yeah, but this is probably one of the smaller ones uh, too because. Uh, these other ones, of course, are, are much bigger little bundles of buse. But I'll be putting these in a tank. I am probably will actually start the tank today, and then you'll see it in a video in a couple of weeks. All right. And these are all the same, just different sizes, but uh, really, really cool bunch of buse. Like plants you got to deal with when you get home too, but it's usually like... Not a super critical emergency. Like these aren't, don't even have water on them. They're just a little moist. And uh, we're going to keep them wrapped in here. With some oxygen will keep them wrapped in here and, and safe for a day or two while I figure out where to put them. The plant I had in mind, you'll remember from a, maybe an older uh, Aqua Shopper video, I think during the Customer Appreciation Day sale, I got this little tank, this little nano tank. And uh, it's got a, it's got a chamber in the back, so you can do one of those like kit tank little filters in the back. And it's kind of interesting too. It's even got a, it's even got a little panel here, so that it can't. Uh, so even though that there's a hole in the bottom, this one the water won't drain out of the back, all the way. So I'm excited to get this tank and, and really do it. I think it might be a neat little abuse tank. Uh, after it starts to grow, if I can really start to get it to grow and be successful in here, in here I'll either add shrimp or maybe a betta. That would be fun. Now let's get into the My Aquarium Box. And my Implement of Destruction this month is a, uh, this is called a 10 print card. So this is a, this is a photograph, okay? And kind of hard to see it's a little dark but this is actually a photo emulsion that's put on metal back in the day this is before paper okay so this isn't even paper this is a, a metal photo emulsion was printed on there or was painted on and then the, the the photograph was made but yeah that's the way they did it back in the day and uh what you can do with it today is open a box. And that's what I'm gonna do. It's protected in this plastic sleeve, so I'm not messing with history too much. But I thought, I thought that would be kind of a neat thing to open this with. And it works so well. Okay, so let's look deep inside this month's February 2019 My Aquarium Box. And right on top, See, we have a little gift from Mike to my wife. Somehow Mike knows that my wife enjoys Miles Davis. Is that what's really in here? Yes. Miles Davis, greatest hits. Well, she will be super excited to get that. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. <laughs> and on top, we've got a membership, benefits and rewards. And, uh, there's a number of coupons on here and also information about how you can win a mega box or uh, or just a regular my aquarium box by sharing your photo and stuff there's last month's winners the mega box uh, film a video like this and you could win a mega box and of course last but not least we have the scorecard for this month we have a value of 44.95 almost 45 dollars with the stuff in this little box and uh, let's go through it. Looks like we've got, oh, some little fish towels. How neat. Fish keeper. 
What better way to say, please do not put detergent on my towels than to write fish keeper on it. And that is really cool and super handy. I need one of these next to every bucket. Ooh, looks like I got two of them. All right, got some towels. And let's see, oh, looks like a Seaport sponge filter. A handy little sponge filter to put into something. And, uh, ooh, this is unusual. A tea ball, it's a tea infuser. My guess is this would be great for botanicals or something like that. And let's go ahead and pull it out. Let's pull it out and take a look. Yep, it's just a little little tea infuser. Uh, one thing I learned at the little aquascaping thing, a uh, little aquascaping demonstration that Rachel and Jennifer Williams did over the weekend is um, you can put actual tea. Like if you want the benefits of that, you know, some of the health benefits of tea, you know, actual tea itself, let alone, um, you know, darkening the water. If you want the, the dark water look, you can use actual tea. Uh, I guess those particular, there are particular types of tea you can use. And I'll defer to her for that. But, um, so just kind of caught it. I like, it was like, what? <laughs> it's got a little hook and everything. And so you can use this to infuse your aquarium with some tea. I've even seen people take botanicals and, uh, you know, basically boil that up and take what they boiled out and add it to the aquarium as another solution. <laughs> All right, what else we have here? New Life Spectrum Betta. We got some Betta food from New Life Spectrum. And the first ingredient is Whole Antarctic Krill. Well, that's a good sign. That's a good way to start. And uh, let's see. Oh, look at that. Rudy, Rudy Boos. Rudy Boos. <laughs> okay. I am not pronouncing this correctly. Yeah, I know, I know I'm butchering the name, so I'm just going to hold this up real close and you guys can figure it out. But it's an aquarium tea. Well, that explains the infuser a little bit more, right? So... Apparently, I can take uh, take some of that and put it in here, and I've got a freshly prepared. It says steep in hot water until cool. Use a strainer to remove particulate. Add one cup at a time to aquarium water to add natural tannin tint. Do not not approved for human consumption. So this is not something for us to drink, but it is for the aquarium. Okay. And oh, ha. Huh. And the last thing is another botanical. This is, uh, what is it? Dry banana stems. Uh, out of the stuff that I pulled out to do the Blackwater Flex, the, the banana stems I thought were super interesting. And uh, yeah, they seem to break down pretty good too. I could probably use a few replacements, but uh, yeah, but that's a nice bag of banana stems. And you know, what a cool uh, natural way to add some a little bit of uh, definition and shape to your substrate and your aquarium bottom, you know, give it that kind of realistic look of branches just kind of laying around and stuff. These are really neat looking. I'm going to pull them out. And these guys have really upped their game. Like they really embrace the whole black water uh, interest that people have had lately. And they've got a whole set of botanical shells and other things too. Have a look at these. Aren't these really neat? These are interesting. Interesting little banana stems. You boil them, boil them up and stick them in your tank. Uh, very cool. Another really awesome My Aquarium Box. But there it is, folks. The February 2019 My Aquarium Box. Really neat. Really neat stuff in this month. I'm excited to implement a lot of these things. But folks, that's where I'm going to leave it this week. Uh, of course, I want to get these plants planted in this little tank and kind of get that going. I've got a couple of other things going on uh, that I want to get finished real quick. Sometime in the near future, I'll be taking this tank down. 
I've been gradually moving fish out of this tank and into other aquariums. There's still a lot of plants and fish and stuff in here, so I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to deal with everything that's in there. But hopefully real soon we'll be back into the business of aquascaping and really creating uh, new and exciting environments. We're going to be doing a buse tank. That is probably next. In fact, I'm going to clean this off and work on it right now. <laughs> Until next time, follow your bliss, keep a clean tank, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. But hopefully real soon we'll be back in but hopefully real soon we'll be back but I the folks I'm gonna but I the folks I'm gonna leave I, 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 I decided to go ahead and do the, the hey YouTube this is Tech Tech how are you doing today I hope that this finds you well and good and uh, you are ready to receive your aquarium funness of the week. <laughs> Rolls right off the tongue.